In this presentation, we're going to look at how to calculate the equation, the regression equation. So this is a simple linear regression, and what we're doing here is calculating the regression equation. Just one thing to sort of start off with is that you may have different terminology used, okay? And this might be deliberate, okay? So what we're trying to do here is come up with an equation of a line, okay? that sort of takes this form here. Now this is uh, just a general form here. If you're familiar with coordinate geometry from school, something like that there. It's just an equation like that. It's called the line of best fit. And the mathematical model used to sort of come up with the line of best fit is called the ordinary least squares method, okay? And essentially it's a regression model because it's used to model data. The point I'm getting at there is just watch out for the various different types of terminology that might be used because really they mean the same thing, okay? So anyway, so just ordinary least squares, OLS is, as it's sometimes abbreviated as, okay? Uh, line of best fit and so on. Really it's just a sort of there's a good bit of terminology and theory there and you might get like asked something that you've not been seen not not used to just to sort of throw you a bit. It's just part of the hazard of the question. So just sort of have a look at past papers and stuff like that. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work on the basis of sums of squares identities. Now um, what might happen sometimes is you might actually have to sort of do some sort of calculations by hand, uh, some sort of preliminary calculations, but essentially what you're trying to do there is, if you have to do these calculations, you're trying to come up with these uh, sums of squares identities. They're just sort of ha uh, calculations half done, for example. That's essentially all they are. Uh, SXX, SYY, SXY. Now, to be honest with you, we're not going to use... Uh, all of them in this particular example. SXX and SXY are the ones that actually get used in regression. SYY um, would actually get used elsewhere, but it doesn't actually get used in this particular example or in this for this particular uh, exercise. Now, something you might also need is the mean of X and the mean of Y. Now, watch out for that. You usually are given enough information to actually de to uh, deduce them, okay? But you might not be given to them. You might not be given those values explicitly, okay? So, uh, so for argument's sake, let's go... You might actually be told the sum of x equals 1000 and that the sample size is 10. Okay, so you'd know x bar is actually should equal to 100 then, okay? So you can deduce it, okay? Now, so this is the regression equation, and this is what we're trying to do, okay? So this is the actual, uh, the true equation, so to speak, okay? So this is for the population of data, okay? Now what we have here is a, a mathematical relationship between some variable y and some variable x, okay? Now x is said to uh, cause y, or predict y, okay? Uh, so we call it the predictor variable, x, and y, the response variable. I'm not going to get into that now, so that's a little bit theoretical. I want to stick with the calculations, so I'll just come back to that. So, but just the components are the true intercept, the true slope, and also the random error term there at the end. Now, the random error term is, is interesting, but it's not what we're going to look at right now, okay? So essentially what I need is the true intercept and the true slope. Essentially what we're going to do here is actually uh, you come up with uh, estimates for those values there. So these are estimates, okay? For beta zero and beta one. Okay, now just over here on this on the side, this is what we're trying to come up with here. This is that the end result should have this form here. Okay, y hat equals b zero plus b one x. Okay, now there's no error term in this part here. Now this is we verbalize this as y hat. Okay, so the little hat there, and it's essentially a fitted value for y given a value for x. Okay, so we'll come back to that later on. So it's not exactly the the y, it's not what we observe, it's actually sort of for some g given value of x, what what will we predict the value of y to be, okay? So we'll come back to that later on, okay? Now, so the main parts are the 
intercept estimate and the slope estimate. So that's essentially the two key components there that we have to calculate. Okay. Now, counterintuitively, we actually will go with B1 first, and that's the first part of the calculation. Okay. So what we're going to do here is calculate B1, which is the slope estimate. Okay. Now this is actually a nice simple calculation. It's simply SXY over SXX. Very simple. Okay, so what we do there is we actually would use that value and to calculate the the slope. Okay, the, sorry, the intercept. So this is the slope here, or the slope estimate. Down here we get the intercept estimate. Okay, so you need to get the slope intercept uh, slope estimate first before you can get the intercept estimate. Okay, so. Uh, also, you might notice here we have the mean of x and the mean of y, okay? So, x bar and y bar. So, we they're going to be used as part of our calculation. So, you need to deduce them also. So, let's have a look at this sort of simple example here. It's not that simple, actually. The numbers sort of look a bit awkward. So, essentially, what, let's just suppose we're given these key pieces of information. S, X, S, X, Y, S, X, X, S, Y, Y. And also we're told that the sum of x and the sum of y, uh, so essentially if you add up all of the x values and the y values, do you get these numbers here, okay? Now, just as a remark, we can use this and the, this here, sxy and sxx, to calculate the slope. That's actually pretty easy. Actually, let's do that now, okay? So the slope estimate, b1, equals SXY over SXX. This is 1, 2, 1, 0, 0 over 1, 7, 7, 7, 0, approximately equal to 0 0.68. I think it's it's close enough to 0 0.68. Just for the sake of brevity, I'll just keep it to 0 0.68. You might have be a bit more precise in your calculations. Now, that is the inter that's the slope estimate done. Okay, that's sort of simple enough, you think? No, but now we have to do the intercept estimate, okay? And the intercept estimate is, let's go back to the, our formula sheet, and it's B0 equals Y bar minus B1 times X bar, okay? So, okay, that's what we're looking at in our formula sheet. I'm thinking, Hang on, this is not the mean. That's the sums, okay? So essentially what you should do here, and you should be given the, the enough information to do it, is that you should be able to deduce the sample size elsewhere in the question. If it's not explicitly stated with these values, it might be hinted at uh, uh, somewhere else in the question. And let's say for argument's sake here, it is 100, okay? So let's... Uh, it's essentially just a little hazard, okay? So x bar in this case is going to be 170.40 and y bar is 67.14, okay? Now, it's important actually, I'm not using a referencing it here, I'm just sort of looking at the main equations, but it's also uh, good to sort of take into account what these units are, what the variables are, what y is and what x is. Okay, so, uh, let's put that together. That is 67.14 minus uh, B1 is 0 0.68 times 170.4. Okay, now when I work that out, and again, I'm just being a little bit... Uh, um, not so careful in my calculation so you but you should get numbers close to this okay my slope est my intercept estimate is minus 48.87 okay so let's just sort of piece that all together now y hat equals minus 48.87 plus 0.68 x okay so that is our regression equation okay now, and uh, that's essentially most of our answer, okay? But it's important to actually sort of say how you would use it. So, be very important to say, uh, it's very important to say what, what Y is, first off. Now, in the example I'm taking this from, 
Uh, y is actually weight measured in kilograms and X is height measured in centimeters. Okay, so it's actually important to sort of mention that. Okay, and essentially what this is here is that if, let's say, height is um, equal to 150 centimeters, can you estimate weight? Okay, that's what how that's essentially how we would use this here. Okay, so this is the importance of the hat. It's not like it, it's not automatically if a person is 150 centimeters tall, they must weigh this. It's just a prediction of what we we, we should expect. So how we would how would we do that? So y hat okay equals minus 48.87 plus 0.68 times 150 okay I'll let you figure the, that out yourself but it's sh I'm thinking it should be close to 50 okay something like that 50 kilograms okay so you can do like I'm, I'm not going to do out the numbers directly but it's something very close to 50 kilograms okay so we predict that a uh, person who is 1.5 meters tall, which is 150 centimeters, again, that's why units uh, should be uh, uh, 50 kilograms. Now, again, I'm not doing the calculations there. You can do them yourself, but you should get an answer close to 50 kilograms. Should be about 50 kilograms, okay? So that's grand now the idea here is let's sorry actually f important question interpret the slope okay now quite often you get asked to do this okay interpret the slope okay so it's essentially for each unit uh, increase in X this is one unit of X how much do you expect y to increase or decrease okay so this is not 0.6 or not 0.86 okay so that's the idea of slope what does it actually mean is that for every unit increase or decrease and could be decrease as well we expect this change not 0.68 okay so for every extra kilogram so extra and every centimeter we expect the weight to go up by not 0.68 okay so that's good now, um, yeah, okay, we'll leave it there.